Hello everyone and welcome to our fifth day of the Spring Regional Special. Now, today is the day of Trevenant Break, which I believe was one of the decks that surprised the most during the last weekend of, of Winter Regionals, because Dark is really dominant due to access of Dark Patch and Eveltal is everywhere, so nobody really considered Trevenant or Trevenant Break as a threat. But um, I believe the guy's name is Aaron Tarbell, who I think was also caught cheating or something like that on stream. I generally don't know. I just know there was a lot of controversy surrounding him. Surrounding him, and yeah, um, we will be using this deck today. Try to find ourselves, or rather, try to try to see how it works. Um, should be pretty close to the standard version of the deck, but you do have a few different tools available to you. So let's start reviewing. Thankfully, with the new update, even though cards are taking so so long to load, um, we can finally view the cards from this um, whole perspective instead of having to go through each Pokemon trainer and energy um, individually. So first off, we have Trevenant and Break. I just featured this deck um, a couple of weeks ago, so you guys might be familiar with what it does. Silent Fear places 3 damage counters everywhere, which is really really nice, um, especially for a low attack cost of 2 energy. And more importantly, this regular Trevenant from the XY set, the ability Forest Curse um, prevents your opponent from playing any item cards, so this is really really nice. Um, Preventing your opponent to play item cards usually pretty much makes a quarter at least or more of his deck completely useless. So it's a really really nice ability. And to go along with it you have Phantom which does have the ascension attack. So if you go second you are pretty much guaranteed to get that turn 1 Trevenant. And if you even if you go first and you're not, you're not able to attack you do have quite a few tools at your disposal. And since you can play computer search in this deck that even that increases the odds even further for you to get that turn 1 Trevenant. So that's the Trevenant line. As far as support goes we have two Wofet which also can be really threatening attackers with Psychic Assault since you are placing damage counters everywhere but more importantly you prevent abilities such as Archeops, um, prehistoric something that doesn't allow you to evolve although you do have ascension to bypass that but getting the Trevenant break into play if there's an Archeops could get a bit tricky so Wofed helps you with that and also stops Vile Plume allowing you to play your own trainer card so that's definitely useful. And we have one Mewtwo EX for a potential late game sweep, um, one Jirachi EX, once again this guy can find the Ultra Ball and that this is a tool you do not have in standard so I'll be really surprised if I ever with the turn 1 Trevenant I would, read, I would need a really bad hand to not get it. And we have two Shaman X, once again, two draw um, potential cards throughout the game and try to combat the potential Shaman cycling, which is a common strategy against, used against this deck. Although you also have Mewtwo to try and prevent that. Now, as far as supporters go, we only have two Wallys. I know that might seem low, but we do have Jirachi, we do have Computer Search. The level balls can search for Jirachi, so two should be enough since you can search for Jirachi or you can potentially get the computer search. We have three Professor Juniper, one of the best supporter cards in the game of course. We have two N, um, this is becoming the new standard for Expanded, or this has become the standard for Expanded. And I think for standard you will probably be seeing decks with four of these cards, but I don't know how much. Um, I don't know, I mean you can probably expect 4 in each deck, but you do have less options there in terms of Jirachi and Aspex and things like that, and even Colrus, so that's why I would expect a higher end count in standard decks. Then we have the one Lysander, once again pretty standard in expanded decks. One Delinquent, this fits really nicely with your item lock, either your opponent um, keeps a lot of cards in his hand, and delinquent is useless but if he's struggling and he's holding on to resources such as energy or supporters a well-timed delinquent can potentially win you a game 
Then we have one Colrus. Um, our bench should be pretty filled and it seems like expanded decks usually use very high counts of basic Pokemon and they need they require a lot of bench Pokemon to work properly so Cold Rest is one of the best cards here to draw cards and we have one AC to heal our Turbinates which are very cost effective. Then as far as item cards go we have four Verse Seekers to reuse all the supporter cards I just outlined. For Ultra Ball, these find our Jirachi, these find our Shamans, these find our Trevenant Breaks, our Trevenants, our Wolfhead, our Phantoms, our Mewtwo's, everything. Really amazing card. Three level balls, these guys find our Phantoms and also find Jirachi for that potential turn one Wallis, so definitely really useful. One Super Odd to try and make it so your opponent has to go through even more than four Trevenants or to get back a couple discarded Trevenant breaks or something like that and four Dimension Valley because it is the best stadium for this deck um, makes your Silent Fear very cost effective and allows you to pull it off out of nowhere and also Tree Slam from Trevenant Break is a pretty decent attack um, the extra damage output is definitely appreciated so there will be a lot of times where we'll we use that at where we will use that attack instead of Silent Fear. Now for Bursting Balloon, these cards are great because only Zerosic can remove them on their item lock and it makes your opponent think twice about attacking you. <clears throat> and even if he opts not to attack, that's another turn your Trevenant survives. So um, pretty useful card. Two Floatstone to get that Wofed out of the active slot, um, potentially stall a bit, maybe retreat Trevenant definitely useful and as far as energy go we have three um, mystery energy pretty much the same function as the floatstone but can also allow you to attach a, a bursting balloon while at the same time retreating for for a single energy instead of three with the trevenant to potentially prevent your opponent from getting a price card and five basic psychic energy because they round out the deck pretty nicely so that's it for the deck, let's close this and let's go find our first game, shall we? I think I explained the deck a lot more quickly with that view than with the other one. Wait, we're not playing standard, we're playing expanded. So, expanded Trevenant, that should be towards the end, nope. Expanded Trevenant, there it is, okay, perfect. And I just saw something flying to the keyboard. <laughs> Okay, yep, there it is. It's like a mosquito or something, but I've killed it now. So we're good. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, we're waiting to find our first game. I hope you guys have enjoyed the week. Any feedback you guys have, I would definitely appreciate it. And I'm going to try to record, like, I am recording this fifth video on Monday. So that means Fates Collide is already out. So, I want to keep this as clean as possible so i'm going to try and record um all the decks uh, all the remaining decks as soon as possible so that we don't get a lot of fates collides decks because those will not represent the um, the meta game and yeah this is another thing the uh, every single update for the pokemon trading card game online seems to crash the freaking thing and look we now have invisible cards which take a while to load and I can just hear the fan on my computer, it seems like... Okay, this is another phantom. Um, it seems like... My opponent is going first. It seems like... Every update just makes things worse and worse and worse and worse. It's like... I don't know... Do they not test these things? I mean, my opponent just mulliganed and I cannot look at his hand. And I have to wait for his hand to load and they changed aspects. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, three card hand. So he's cheating. Okay, there's a rest. So we're actually up against a fighting deck, which is really nice. Um, and where candy probably means either Galate or um, not Machamp. Um, Galate or Garchamp. Both of which I'm fine here. I do have the Wallis. Um, my opponent did Mulligan three times, apparently. I only saw two. <laughs> But I'm okay with this. Um, it is a Garchomp deck, so we do have natural resistance. He will never be able to one KO our Trevenants. We will item lock him from turn from turn one onwards because I do have the Ascension. So 
that just easily means um, he will not be able to rear candy and we will start putting on the damage and putting on the pressure by preventing the item cards starting from turn one so we have a pretty ideal hand um, we can wall these the benched phantom and we can ascension the active phantom with the energy we do have so that means even a Lysander will not save him from the item lock as long as I don't play another basic Pokemon. Which I have no reason to play down the Mewtwo. Um, Mewtwo is definitely an easy target for Gable or rather Garchomp to KO. So I definitely don't want to give him that option because he would get rid of item lock if he finds <laughs> look invisible bench Pokemon. Um, he would be able to KO it easily with card jump and then okay and also have access to item lock or to items rather so definitely don't want to play that going to Wally's the benched <laughs> just look at that that's how you search through your deck now that's a horrible view it is tack though but <laughs> look I downloaded all the cards again with the update and it still takes a while to load. It's really annoying. Every freaking update seems to seems to break the game. Like it, it works properly and it's like they say, okay, it's working properly now. What can we do to make it stop working properly? And then they do it. <laughs> it just feels like that. It really, really feels like that. Okay, so is there any reason for me to play anything else right now? I don't think there is. Um, I could find myself a phantom to evolve this Trevenant. But I'm just gonna ascension for now. Um, he did fill out his bench by a lot. So Trevenant Break is going to start wrecking havoc. And if he whiffs on some gabites i will be able to do a ton of damage so what <laughs> okay sycamore he had two sycamores in his hand that's why he discarded one he gets a fresh set of seven cards he plays a stadium immediately um fighting stadium that's perfectly fine that's also the reason why i didn't mind using attaching the energy to use ascension instead of playing the stadium because you just know that deck um runs stadiums there's no reason for them not to run stadiums so um, doesn't make sense to play yours first if you don't need to. Now I need to because of the fact that um, I want to silent fear. I'm gonna find my Trevenant break and now I could Juniper here. I definitely could. But I kind of want to wait. I don't want to waste this Trevenant and I'm not in any real threat right now. Um, <laughs> the game was actually allowing me to use Tree Slam. So what would have happened if I had clicked Tree Slam? I only have one energy, so that makes no sense. Maybe there's a bug with Dimensional Valley, which takes away all the colorless um, energy cost instead of just one. But hey, that's PTCJ's problem. I'm not going to cheat. Definitely not going to cheat. And yeah, I'm in really no hurry. I mean, he will deal a ton of damage. Oh, look, invisible guard jumps. Okay, I'm in no hurry to to get an energy, or I wasn't until now, because I definitely cannot miss a turn of silent fear. Now my opponent, okay, I top deck this. That's pretty great, but looks like I will have no luck in terms of. Um, in terms of not discarding the Trevenant, so, and my opponent did get the other Cabite, which is unfortunate. So, maybe I could have saved the, this Trevenant break with the Float Stone. Maybe that would have been a better play, but I do get the other Float Stone, so that's fine. I'm going to attach an energy. I will attach the Float Stone, save my Trevenant break, and I will retreat it. Um, there's no reason for me to give up an, an easy prize. But if I had attached the float stone first, as you can see, um, I would not have been able to 
to get the Trevenant Break. So it was better to guarantee the Trevenant Break for later on than just attach the first floatstone. Um, so I'm going to Silent Fear once again. Look, it lets me uh, click Tree Slam. Uh, maybe behind the scenes I will click Tree Slam in this scenario to see what happens. <laughs> But yeah, I pick up two prizes from the Remorade and the other Gibble. Um, it will take me a while to get the card jump, but another Silent Fear will be able to take down both the Kabite and the Holucha, so that's really nice. He opts to attach an energy to Holucha for some reason. Um, I mean, it didn't really matter who he attached to, and yeah, there's a victory. My opponent really didn't stand a chance after I got that pretty much perfect setup. So we do take our first rather quick win with Treven and Break. If you expect a lot of card jump, then this is definitely a really, really good idea to use because... Okay, now we're up against a dark deck. Now it's going to be a real challenge. But yeah, this deck has a really good fighting matchup against anything. I do win the coin flip, so I do want to go first and... Getting the turn 1 Trevenant is going to be absolutely huge. Which seems like I can get as long as Jirachi is not priced. As long as Jirachi is not priced, I can get that turn 1 Trevenant. And we do see Fighting Fury Belt, we do see Hypnotoxic Laser. And now, uh, the only reason we could maybe worry, or he, my opponent could get out of item lock, is if he. He has a Lysander, but then that means our Trevenant doesn't take a KO, so that's perfectly fine by me. Um, I know in standard I ran a weakness policy to try and diminish the the damage that Dark decks do to you. And okay, there's a Dark Cry. I don't know what I top deck, and I don't know what my opponent's active Pokemon actually is. Okay, Ultra Ball and Baby Eveltal. So, um. The Psychic Energy is important, the AC is not important. The other Ultra Ball... I mean... <laughs> there's two things here. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the AC. Well, maybe I would need to re that to retreat. No, I'm gonna get rid of the AC and the Trevenant. It's unfortunate that I have to get rid of the Trevenant so early. But I will be able to find Jirachi. Please tell me Jirachi. Oh, are you serious? That I prize Jirachi the one game I want to use it. Are you serious? Yep. Looks like the Pokemon are in front. And some cards are still not loading. Such a beautiful game this is. Yep. Two Trevenant, Shaman, Mewtwo. Trevenant Break, Wolfet, and a Phantom. But. <laughs> no Jirachi. Of course there isn't a Jirachi. So then, how many Trevenants do I have? Two, because there is one priced as well. Ugh. Man, I just. I can't catch a break. I genuinely cannot catch a break. Um, I mean, I can't shame him. I will shame in, I guess. Try and find that Wallis. But also getting that. Ugh, should have gotten rid of the energy, not the stadium. But, anyways. At least I have the. This thingy, where he will take 6 damage back. And. Ugh, I don't. I don't even get a supporter now. <laughs> I don't even get a supporter. What is this card? Please be a Wallis. No, because it's not letting me play it. However, it's not a Wallis. <laughs> what is this? Man. Okay, another. <laughs> another mystery energy. So, I'm going to Ultra Ball away. One mystery energy and the level ball. Which I could have used to find Jirachi. I'm going to find another Phantom. Oh. Nope, I should have found the... <laughs> should have gone for Shaman. Okay, I'm clearly not playing my best. Let's see what I top deck. If I don't top deck, I'm just gonna concede. Sorry about this dot game. Um, 
the Jiracha being priced really, really messed with my head. Definitely messed with my head. He will get a pretty easy KO here. And even if we prevent item cards, we won't be doing anything else next turn. And he will two hit KO us. There's no way we can stop that. So unless he ends us here, I think we are done. Definitely think we are done. Man, <laughs> that was really stupid of me to not go for the Shaman. That was the whole plan. That was absolutely the whole plan, to go for Shaman. And <laughs> I feel like I've shown so many misclicks in this week. And I'm really sorry guys, in a tournament, in a real life tournament, this would not happen to me and I'm pretty sure it would not happen to you either. Oh boy, man, imagine if I had, imagine if Jirachi had been active. My opponent wouldn't have even had a, a supporter. He wouldn't have attached this, he wouldn't have played the Dark Patch, he wouldn't have done anything besides deal 30 or 60 damage to my Trevenant. Ah, man. It happens. It really does. <laughs> it really does happen. Way too often for my liking, I feel. But what will you do? Yeah. <sighs> There's no chance, guys. I'm just gonna concede. I'm wasting all of our time. Both yours and mine. So let's hope this next game we are able to do something um, I mean all I was going to do is play out a losing game where I was going to draw one or two prizes maybe and my opponent was going to draw every single prize card so um, psychic colorless I mean psychic metal and lightning that might be night march with only Jirachi um, no shaman in night march would be really surprising my opponent is going first, so we will have the turn 1 Trevenant, which I'm really happy about. I will bench the other Phantom. I know my opponent isn't playing Latios, but I did lose. I didn't make top cut at a regional tournament, only because my opponent started a Latios EX and dunked me out of top 8. Or out of getting top 8. It's actually Jirachi and Manectric. So Manectric is not a good matchup either. Definitely not a good matchup either. But no Shaman might hinder my opponent. Um, you would assume the Psychic type to be either Mutex or Crobat. Um, it's actually Garbodor. Wow. <laughs> it's actually Garbodor. It's actually Garbodor. Gets the Spirit Link right away. Gets an Energy. Um, plays a Stadium. Which is Tropical Beach. And he will get to draw three cards and he has a float stone wow he couldn't have asked for a more perfect hand he generally could not have asked for a more perfect hand now <laughs> we are going to have to rely on okay he cannot retreat and KO me right away right so I'm gonna attach an energy to have my driven and break ready Turn and break is not KO'd by an neck trick. Um, okay, so is the other shaman priced? It's not. Huh. So the my hand sucks. My hand seriously sucks. Okay, I'm gonna go for Jirachi with this level ball. I'm gonna go for an N. And, yeah, I think I'm going to really struggle here. Manectric also doesn't seem like a really good matchup for us. I could go for a Delinquent, but I don't think that will accomplish much. Might even give him energy for his discard pile. So, yeah, I'm going to end here. I want to conserve that Ultra Ball for a potential to help me search for Tron and Break later. Not going to attach the bursting balloon just yet, but I think this wolf head is key. I think it's going to be absolutely huge in order to for us to Lysander it up. My opponent will have a hard time um, retreating it, 
and that will allow us to get a few silent fears pretty much for free so i'm really happy with that although he already has the carbodor so actually i think my best play is to lysander wow if he retreats jirachi and ko's me right now wow he has the float stone does he have the mega does he seriously have the mega right now looks like he doesn't but if he does that's game that is absolutely game what does my opponent play what is that it's an n okay <laughs> you you really can't do anything against perfect hands he will obviously find the mega obviously <laughs> There's, there's nothing you can do against perfect hands, guys. There's nothing you can do against perfect hands. This is game. There's absolutely nothing I can do to recover from this position, I don't think. The opponent even has the cardboard. Order. That is so, so freaking sick. <sighs> Man. I have no words guys, I genuinely have no words for this. I'm gonna have to sacrifice something. <laughs> Cause my only hope, my absolute only hope is to, to Lysander up the wolf heads, hope my opponent doesn't have a way of retreating and, or maybe the rubbish. And I don't even get an energy. I do, however. Okay, I'm gonna attach the bursting balloon to Jirachi. Make it so that at least he has to. He gets some damage back. Um, the thing here is. I can. Okay, I do have the break. So I want to save the computer search. I'm going to bench the phantom and I'm going to tropical beach for two. I need, I really really need either an energy or the Lysander, neither of which I do get. So <laughs> I just need one energy so that I can Lysander up the wolf at unless unless wow so he's even going to take the kill with this regular manectric once again that opens up the wolfed lysander possibility definitely does there's no abilities i have to remember that um we will definitely be promoting the trivenant break right now but i have no energy that's so ridiculous how do i not have energy <laughs> how do i not have energy <laughs> just need one energy i've played one I am halfway through my deck. So, I mean, I need to. I'm going to Lysander up to hopefully buy myself a couple of turns here. I'm going to get rid of Shaman. There's no point in having that thing around still. And, uh, man, <laughs> what's my Lysander? <laughs> okay. And between the new update, which is hideous, by the way, and my luck, I am being put a little bit on tilt. Just a little bit. Okay. So the issue is also the fact that there's no stadium for myself to use. Um, I needed a stadium and an energy. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Went to Tropical Beach, I do get an energy and I do get a stadium, so now my hope is that he cannot retreat Wolf. <laughs> you were saying Pablo. Now everything can either free retreat or KO me. <laughs> oh boy. And because I missed the energy drop in the previous turn, I cannot even Lysander up the Carpador. Perfect. 
absolutely perfect. And out of my opponent's four card hand, he immediately had a float stone, because why not? His third float stone, because why not? Okay, going to play this, I am going to play this, I am going to play this, and I guess I wallies now? Um, I mean, I have no chance, guys. I literally have no chance. I will get a KO, woo, and now it's not letting me tree slam. Interesting. Okay, I do get one KO. Woohoo. And I don't even get to know what my price card is. <laughs> I don't even get to know what my price card is. Okay. He should take the KO with the Manectric right now, I guess, with the Mega, because otherwise... Ugh, and he always has a Stadium. He always has a Stadium. He runs all for Tropical Beach. Okay. <sighs> he has everything he needs every time. He's even going to AC the regular Manectric. Yep. I mean, what can I do, guys? Seriously, what can I do? What can I do? I can't even get a KO with Wolfet. Right? 90, 10 plus 90. Nope, I'm 10 damage short. Because it is 10 plus, not 20 plus. So I am 10 damage short. Okay. I'm going to promote this guy. Now all he needs is a Lysander and he wins. Um, I do get lucky on top deck the stadium. I will bench the Mewtwo just to increase my my call risk here. My call risk for 8. I could end, but there's really no point. Um, I could Lysander something, but there's really no point either. So I'm just gonna call risk. Gives me the most cards. Careful with Mewtwo. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, <laughs> thanks for the tip. I am aware. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe if I had an energy, I could do something next turn. But I don't. So, still going to Silent Fear. Pick up. Wow, it's letting me tree slam. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna pick up a KO on the Jirachi. Pretty much completely irrelevant. I do get an end off of my prizes. But what I really need is energy. And I've drawn a total of 3 out of 8 energy. Um, I don't even get a bursting balloon to keep threatening my opponent. Well, there's only one left. So I guess that's fair. He won't be able to KO Manectric. Um, he does Juniper right away, so he's definitely just looking for his last Lysander. That will seal the game for him. I didn't get a Verse Seeker to potentially KO Garbodor. I mean, I can't get a KO with Mewtwo if I get an energy <laughs> somehow. That would be okay here um like he said tool drop trubbish can definitely ko my mewtwo but all he needs is lysander shaman for game so even i if i do ko the mega manectric there's nothing i can do about that <clears throat> there's the tool drop trubbish um pretty much negating my mewtwo option because he will be able to power it up right now and yeah, that's the game. That is absolutely the game. Well, I can take a KO with Wolfet, I guess. Can't get a KO with Wolfet here. But it, it still comes down to his Lysander. It still comes down to his Lysander. I do top deck a verse Seeker. He has three cards in his hand, and then would put him down to one card. But, 
Okay, I'm going to get rid of Sycamore and or Juniper and Juniper, I guess. Find myself my last Trevenant, which is literally the last Pokemon in my deck. And now I need a hundred percent to hit an energy off of this end. I think that's the only potential thing that can maybe help me out. I do hit it, which is definitely nice. Um, I will be able to retreat, prevent this KO, and I definitely want to attack with this Floatstone Wolfet just in case he doesn't. Oh, well, actually, that was a mistake as well. Well, not entirely, because otherwise, how would I retreat afterwards? Just gonna Psychic Assault here, get myself a KO. And okay, is there any way I can KO that Manectric? Which only has 30 damage. Definitely not. Um, the Bursting Balloon is useful. He gets a Spirit Link, so that means. <laughs> oh man, it must be really nice to draw like that. It must be really nice. Now he will get a KO. And I still don't have energy. I generally just don't have energy. I am incapable of drawing energy. It's actually going to heal me with the tool drop trubbish. So if I get an energy, I can KO the trubbish and then I can maybe Lysander for game. Wait, what is that? What is that? What is that? Okay, Sacred Ash. I need to top the gun energy so that I can end my opponent down to one card. That's my only play. How many versus seekers? Oh, why aren't the cards loading properly? This is so annoying. Only one versus seeker I've played? Wow. Okay. I'll take that. That means I can still play this one. But I just I cannot allow my opponent to have a Lysander. That's the thing. He makes his deck bigger, which can potentially help us out a bit. Oh, but, but I really need an energy. I really, really need an energy. And getting an energy off of an N of 2. Okay, AC. Who is he going to AC up? Nope, he just keeps it in his hand, okay? That's fair. He KOs the Wolfet. And now I have to really think this through because I don't have a float stone. But I think my only option is Mewtwo. It's definitely Mewtwo. The thing here is, do I? Okay, so do I? Does he have this? Oh, why? Why? Why can't I have an energy? If I had an energy, I could end him. I had an energy I couldn't. He has such a big hand. He has such a big hand. He, I know he's going to have the... I absolutely know he's going to have the... the Lysander. I just know it. In my heart, I know it. I really do. <laughs> I absolutely know he has it. I have 12 cards left in my deck. If, whoops, <laughs> I want to evolve Mewtwo into German and break. If I use the N, oh boy. I can't, I can't use the N, not in this position. I might be able to next turn, but the next turn all I need is Okay, I do get... Uh, he has a Lysander. He has a Lysander. <laughs> ah. Man, we were so close to... Even with everything that happened, we were so close. Wait, what does Wolfed do? Yeah. Oh, well... Wolfed can, yeah, KO Trevenant, or he could have KO'd Shaman. Oh, so frustrating, guys. 
so freaking frustrating. We were this close, this close, <laughs> this close. Even after all of that, we were this close. If only we, we would have had an energy. If only we would have had an energy. But alas, we did not. Oh boy. Anyways, let's move on to what will probably be the last game of today's video. And we're definitely not closing out this week with the best of records. Um, <laughs> True and it's not doing well for us. Definitely not doing well for us. And if I did see my opponent's deck correctly, we are up against a Blastoise deck, which means a turn one Trevenant would have pretty much secured the win. But now a turn one Trevenant, after he's able to Archies and all of that, might be really, really difficult to come back from. And giving him uh, an extra card off of the Mulligan probably increases the odds of that happening, but. We actually get really lucky and start with one of our two Wolfets. That's really, really lucky. That means no Shaman, no Jirachi, no Blastoise, and no Keldeo abilities. And then next turn, we have guaranteed... What? <laughs> okay, I really hope this is Blastoise, but... What? Each of your Pokemon that has any water energy attached to it can't be paralyzed. Crystal Breath, 160. This Pokemon... <laughs> What? <laughs> Aurora's EX? <laughs> what is this? Why would you run that in a Blastoise deck? I hope this is a Blastoise deck. Please tell me this is a Blastoise deck. At least. Why would you do that? I mean, it is more cost effective than Keldeo. And with a Muscle Band, you do get a KO on every Pokemon EX. And with Keldeo, the drawback from the attack doesn't hurt you. Okay, I'll give my opponent the benefit of the doubt. What? <laughs> Why? Transparent cards. Um, please let me see. Okay. Execute. Um, a mysterious something and a mysterious something else. My opponent actually doesn't do anything. There's a Blastoise. There's a Suicune. And what is this? An Empoleon. Okay. Um, so definitely not the most serious deck, definitely not the most serious deck, going to Ultra Ball away, the Ultra Ball, and with Juniper, find myself a Phantom, and we see one Phantom is priced, I'm just gonna Wallis and promote, um, I don't mind abilities, just as long as he doesn't have item cards, and if he has the Lysander to get rid of the item lock, he will still be under ability lock. So it's pretty much a win-win for us. And then we can Juniper next turn and start dealing some damage, hopefully with a Trevenant Break, an Energy, and a Stadium. Um, odds of hitting all those three cards are definitely not too high, but I really don't mind that. My opponent just attaches and passes. So, um, yeah, I guess... It's also a bit scary, <laughs> his attack is also a bit scary because he does one hit KO, driven and break even. So if we don't start dealing some damage right now, we might be in a lot of trouble. Um, and looks like we won't be dealing, no, no, looks like we won't be dealing, Only, unless I get really lucky off of this upcoming Shaman. If I get really lucky with that, looks like we won't be dealing... Okay, my opponent just decides to concede. Fine. Fine, I'll take that win. So that's obviously not the last game of the video, because A, it wasn't against a serious deck, and B, my opponent conceded in under 3 minutes. So now we're looking for our last game of the day. This is the most um, game-packed video, I guess, for today. I'm really sorry I grabbed the wrong, the wrong Pokemon in that matchup against the Veltal. I think it would have made for a very interesting dynamic because even though he had the weakness advantage, if he had gotten the Wallis off of that off of that Shaman I should have grabbed, um, the game would have been completely different. He would have been left 
supporter less and he would have dealt 80 damage but as long as we kept the item lock going we might have been in a really good position especially because of the um, of the tool card the bursting balloon so yeah it's taking a while to find someone now we do and we are up against northeast tacos okay <laughs> and he's using a darkness deck um colorless means shaman darkness means dark pokemon psychic might mean hoopa might mean hypno and we do go second and the water is probably Keltio EX. So going second is not ideal. As you've seen. Definitely not ideal. We do get the Phantom. And we also get Mew too. But I'm not gonna pinch it just yet. Oh boy. And energy seems to be a real struggle for this deck. I mean, we do only run 8. So it kind of makes sense I guess okay my opponent flips over shaman that's one of the best cards you do get to see when you're up against that potential dark deck definitely nice that my opponent started with that um, he did get an extra card off of mulligan there's Keldeo as well so that's two Pokemon predicted correctly darkness will definitely be a combination of Eveltals and dark rice but I really wonder what the psychic type is. I don't think it would be Hoopa, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Mewtwo. Maybe it's simply Mewtwo EX. That would make sense. That would definitely make sense. But my opponent is taking a really long time figuring out what to do. Maybe he doesn't have too many good cards in his hand. Um, delinquent for us is an option an interesting option for sure but there's no stadium just yet and I generally have no idea why my opponent is taking so long northeast tackles please hurry up <laughs> please do hurry up man and he just passes okay <laughs> okay I'll take that I am going to discard the delinquent and the Lysander, find myself another phantom, play it down, I don't want to play Mewtwo just yet, um, I will Wallis however, just in case I miss the energy and the stadium <laughs> off of the shaman and i get to draw an extra card as well getting the turn one wallis is the important thing doesn't really matter if you do it through wallis or ascension and i do get an energy okay that's perfectly fine by me and i think this is it um nothing else i can do next turn we can find our turn and break we also get another turn and into play and we get to juniper in order to find more resources potentially an energy saying not getting connection i don't know why everything's working perfectly fine on my end everything is fine for me so just play man or if you have nothing then concede <laughs> but yeah he's under item lock now and his hand is pretty big and he didn't play a supporter card previously so i'm guessing his hand is filled with things like versus seeker um dark patches maybe some tool cards he says he can't see any cards, so maybe that's why he didn't play anything. And he can see it. Man, this new update <laughs> seems like every time I try to record videos, an update just comes and breaks the game. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Um, I'm sorry, this video is definitely not up to par with the other ones. Um, take make your conclusions out of Trevenant what you will um, I definitely misplayed that one game um, we almost got that that game against Mega Manectric that would have been amazing but it seemed like every turn my opponent had the exact cards he needed in order to win so yeah that's it for today guys thank you thank you so so much for watching I will see you guys 
hopefully next week where um, a whole new five decks await us and i can tell you guys they're definitely very interesting decks some fan favorites i will reveal two of them on sunday on my facebook page and on the rear rank city facebook group so definitely be be on the lookout for that and that's it from me guys um once again like gold is 100 per video i don't think we're making it in any of the videos but i would still like you guys to try it if you're still watching please take a second to scroll down click the like button and scroll back up it really helps out the channel get discovered and get more support and that will be all for me today guys thank you so much and i will see you guys next monday Bye bye